Hello students, myself Ayushi Tank. I welcome you on Invira Online School. Today we will start our first part for chapter three. So name of this part is number. You know what is number? Number from one to ten, one to hundred, and hundred to nine hundred. Ninety-nine. We learn about this. The number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. They are one-digit number. After nine, here is ten. This is a two-digit number. So. From this, we are reach to a three-digit number. This is one hundred, the smallest three-digit number. Then we go and find the greatest three-digit number, nine hundred and ninety-nine. So this is the greatest three-digit number. Now, in this part, we learn about four-digit numbers. So The greatest three-digit number is nine hundred ninety-nine. This is nine hundred ninety-nine. Now, for find the one four-digit number, what we have to do? We have to add one in the greatest three-digit number. We add one, so it becomes zero, and carry over here nine in one. Ten, carry over. Then nine in one is ten zero and one. Carry over. Then nine and one. It's ten. So after nine hundred nine, we find a four digit number. So here we have two words. It's digit and one is. Number. So, what is difference between digit and number? So, in the number one thousand, it is a number one zero zero zero. This is one number, and in this number we have how many digits? Let's count one, two, three, and four. So, the difference between digit and number. So this is one number, and in the one number they have four digits. So in this we are introduced to the four-digit number. So this is greatest three-digit number. When we add one in nine hundred ninety-nine, we get a four-digit number, which is the large. Smallest four-digit number. So, one thousand is the smallest four-digit number. So now, what comes after one hundred one zero zero zero? Just like one hundred one one hundred. So, what comes after one hundred? So this zero is increasing by one, and the remains are same. Just like this here, one zero zero zero. What comes after this? So in this case, the zero increases by one, and the others remain the same. So the next number is one zero zero one. Now we have a chart, a place chart for three digit numbers. Zero, 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 and one. We find this number. So this is. 
ones place this is called tens place this is hundreds place now this place is called yes this place is called as a thousand place the thousand place so this is ones tens hundred and then the thousand place now let's count the four digit number so i tell you which is the smallest three digit number sorry four digit number is 1000 and what comes after 1000 it's increases by 1 this zero and then 0 0 1 it's remain the same just like this next one increases one and become two and remain the same so it is 1 0 0 2 just like this we reached at 1 0 0 9 so what comes after 1 0 0 9 So here, nine is zero. Nine is become zero. Then this number increases by one. So it is one and remain the same. So so this is one zero one zero after one zero zero nine. Now what comes after this? So one zero one zero. So here the same. This zero is increases by one. Then one zero one remain the same. Just we reached at nine 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 nine. This is the largest four digit number this is the largest four digit number so here 1000 this is the smallest four digit number and Nine, 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 nine. This is largest four-digit number. So here, one zero 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 is the smallest four-digit number, and nine, 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 nine. This is the largest four-digit number. Now, let's make a place chart for number. So I have write some four digit number. So here, now let's make a place chart for this number. So we start from here. This is on ones place. So here, this is ones place. Then tens, then hundred, and then the thousand place. The fourth place is called the thousands place. So in this number, the seven comes on ones place. Then Five comes on tens place, six on hundred place, and nine on thousand place. So this is the place chart for four digit number nine six five seven. Four digit number. This is a four digit number, and this is a place chart for four digit number. It's seven five six. Nine ones, tens, hundred, 
and then the fourth place is called the thousands place. So, we are knowing that what is four digit number. The smallest four digit number is 1000 zero, zero, zero. and the largest four digit number is 9999. Nine, nine, nine. So, now we know how to read four digit number. Let's start. 9563 a four digit number we know so place value of these so this is the ones place this is tens this is hundred and this is the thousand place so now let's write the number name so we start from here from 9. So, 9 is placed on 1000. So, we say this is 9000. So, 9000. After 9000, this is a 3 digit number. We know how to read a 3 digit number. So, this is 563. So, this is 563. So, for read the four digit number, first we read the thousand place then the hundred place and then tens and ones comes together. So, let's have some more example. Our second example is 6029. Let's write number name for this number. This is a four digit number. So, the place value, this is ones tens, hundreds and thousands. So, first start with thousand. So, this is six thousand. So, write six thousand. Then, it is a three digit number. On hundreds place, this is a zero. So, Zero is not written. Next, the tens and ones comes together. So, 6,000, 29. So, we learn how to write a four digits number name and how to read a four digit number. Now, our next topic is face value and place value. So, what is face value? A uh, face value of a digit is the digit itself. So, what is face value? Face value of a digit is the digit itself. Now, what is place value? A place value of a digit position is the position of a digit. Now, we have an example. Now understand the face value and place value with this number. So number is 9659. Nine. First we find the place value. I write digit here. So this is 965 and 9. Find the face value for the digits. Let's find out. So, the face value of a digit, the digit itself. So, what is the digit? 9. 9 itself. What is 9 itself? It's 9. So, the face value of 9 is 9. Next, next digit is 6. So, the face value of 6 is 6. Now, digit itself. Next, digit 
5. So, the face value of 5 is? Yes, face value of 5 is 5. Next, 9. So, the face value of 9 is 9 because the face value of a digit is the digit itself. So, digit 9, face value of 9 is 9. Face value of 6 is 6. Face value of 5 is 5. And face value of 9 is 9. Now, the next is place value. So, we know what is place value. The place value of 9 is 1's. Place value of 5 is 10's. Place value of 6 is 100's. Place value of 9 is 1000. So, this is the place value. So, here we make a place value chart. So, first of all, 1's, then 10's, 100 and then 1000. So, on 1's place, number 9. On 10's place, number 5. On 100's place, number 6. And on 1000th place, number 9. So, we say place value for 9 is 9000. Then the place value of 6 is 6 hundredths. Place value of 5 is 5 tenths. And place value of 9 is 9 ones. So, this is face value and place value. So, what we learn? We learn about four digit number. The smallest four digit number is 1000. And the largest four digit number is 9999. And we also learn about write the number name for four digit numbers. And we also learn about the face value and place value. All these topics we learn in our previous class but with the three digit number. Now we learn all the topics with four digit numbers. In our upcomings we learn many more things with four digit number. Thank you.